Who here's on birth control? I got off. I have medical reasons though. I used oh, okay. to be, yeah. but I hopped you off and I feel great. Um, I'm actually on hormones oh, um, the, right the now. Pill? Be, um, it pills and hormones. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have the implant. What is it? Do you have the arm implant or yeah. the IUD? Next plan on? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I had the IUD for six years and got off of it three months ago. <laughs> this is really wild. Sorry, chat. I didn't have a period for six years of my life. Mm-hmm. And like, that's not normal. And I feel like mm-hmm. a, a huge part of the birth control movement with feminism and like, you know, take control of your body is actually harming women more. I mean, it's, all, it's already statistically like women are attracted to different men when you're on birth control versus off birth control. It completely rewires your hormones. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's like we've bought into this lie that this is empowerment when really you're harming yourself. Hmm. Yeah. I still like it though. Like what? My birth control. control. I love yeah. that. Like, He's like a sniper. I love him. Who's a sniper? My birth control. <laughs> He's like a sniper. Because oh. well, you can't get pregnant. <laughs> it's a boy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it prevents I pregnancy, but you could have boy. lifelong. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> that was, was really loud. I mean, uh, sure. I mean, it was invented to prevent birth, but the thing is, is when you get on it, you don't yeah. actually know what the side effects are to you and yeah. your attraction, you, you know, also don't your cycles. like realize the side effects that it has on right. you until mm-hmm. you get off of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Yeah. I mean, I did get off of it for like a couple months and nothing changed. I was like, I still feel depressed. I'm like, one of the I rare ones. <laughs> like I said, I got, I got, yeah. I Wait, no question. Oh, you're Wait, still yeah. on it, correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. But I went off it and then I went back to get it again. I think you have to be off of it for like a oh, wow. consecutive period of time. Yeah. Like a year. I've only been off of I've birth been control off of for, it for three months. I've been on it for 10 years. I was on it for seven years. Yeah, but I, like I said, I had, I, they medically found cancer cells in me when I was younger. Oh shit. So So I had, yeah, I had to, but we're we're here. See, and I I will say that there are certain, we're surviving. There are certain medical conditions where birth control, estrogen, like supplements is necessary. I'm not gonna stand up. We're gonna work harder. I'm a survivor. (laughs) Okay, that was cringe. Sorry guys. (laughs) Very. Um, (laughs) Thank you. But you know, like widely, yeah. it's birth control has been sold as this one size fits all. Take this pill, you're cured. Yeah. Yeah. Fourteen year olds are going to their gynecologist and saying, like, "Oh, I just got my period. Here's birth control." I, when I got off my birth control, my OB was like, "Are you sure?" Like, totally gaslit me yeah. and telling me like I'm so not validated. She's like, "You're waiting for marriage. Like, that's wild. Like, are you sure you want your period? Like, this is really weird." Um, and I, I just think like women have largely just been sold like this is your one size fits all. Slap on a band aid. Everyone needs to go on birth control i mean there's different types of birth yeah. control like they can actually regulate um some of the ones that they put they put less hormones or more hormones in you like well, but what do you need the, to regulate well there's non-hormone non-hormonal like iud just yeah IUD. that scares one. me like that's when they put in you right and yeah, yeah i was on an iud yeah. not the copper they but can fall yeah. out. I, I had yeah. a, i had the marina the hormonal yeah. iud can you buy me. birth control like over the counter? Oh, now? that's yeah. I think I there's actually video. Yeah, yeah, I did a video on this. So what? there's this new birth control. It's hormonal birth control. It's called the O pill, and it's the first ever over the counter, prescri- uh, or over the counter pill birth control. So it's just yeah. like you know, if you were to get a pack of birth control pills prescribed, but the thing is, it's now it's over the counter. You don't need a prescription, and you can just buy it at a drugstore. It's even going to be available in some gas stations. And here's my thing: is that is so dangerous Mm -hmm. because think of how many 13 or 14 year old girls who may want to be sexually active but they don't tell their parents and so all of a sudden they don't go to the doctor's office they just pop into a walgreens and buy this think of the girls that are going to abuse it and overtake medications and i think it's just highly unregulated and like not allowed but it's being pushed because like this is accessible for underserved communities but i mean it's it's been proven that underserved communities and um you know, poor areas. That's where Planned Parenthood started. It's because, yep. you know, they want you on birth control and they want you to have more and more abortions so you don't actually get pregnant. Hmm. And it's the younger you are, the younger you started. I mean, there's girls literally getting on birth control now at 11, 12, 13. I mean, I would rather be in birth mm-hmm. control than like have a child, low key. So you you're could saying, just have safe sex. is your toxic ex boyfriend yeah. just blasting? Is that what no. you're saying? No, but I'm just saying, like, you even, can be honest. even if he doesn't. What happened yesterday? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that... What? I'm just saying, you're, you said you don't want to have a kid, you're on birth control, I'm just assuming. Yeah. I mean, later on, yes, but not right now. Like, I'm No might... blasting? Oh, what does that mean? Like, Conne- I'm not going to the... say it, but Ex- connect see? the dots. No. Well, I'm like, like, I'm I still want to like, be protected like... Like, as much as I can, you know? Like, you never know. Like, 
stay safe, guys. Stay oh. safe. Well, sure. Well, if you're like, actually, mean, if you're sexually I mean, active, yeah. but if you're not, yeah. and I mean, my parents never educated me in like in like mm-hmm. safe like what sex was and like birth control and all stuff. She, they never did, and I wish they did, so I could actually go with them, you mm-hmm. know, to like actually get something, you know, together or something like that. I had to like ask my mm-hmm. friends, you know, like I had to like find out about sex in the playground on like elementary yeah. school. Like it was crazy to me. I think natural what? cycles. In- um. Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? That's wild. That's mm. wild. Yeah, and and playground. It's like mm, I don't like that. You know, like <laughs> I think what's crazy is that women like, don't actually know that you can only what, get on the pregnant. fucking monkey bars. You guys were talking about that shit. What the <laughs> no, fuck? No, it was like this grass <laughs> area. Because oh, I was like, oh, the grass, the meadow. The meadow. <laughs> they eventually was, educate so you about romantic. it in like yeah. middle or high in school. Eighth grade. Yeah, yeah, eighth grade. I got it in like. But sixth it's it wasn't like oh my god into depth of like. I got educated about sex. Oh, I thought sex ed. I heard sex, I well, I sex ed now is starting like yeah. freaking. But I went to private girls. school, so they teach you sex ed differently. Actually, oh, yeah. Really? But I mean, I mean, public school sex ed is, is it, like just. Is it when yeah. a man Scary. and a woman they love each other very much? <laughs> yeah, they like emphasize like make sure you're married, make sure you're married. And they just they they hug each other. <laughs> but, and, it and they hold it. And when they love each other so much, a baby comes out. And then nine months later, the yeah. stork, stork comes. The stork, stork. Oh my gosh. Here's the thing about birth control, though, is women can only get pregnant three to five days out of the entire month. So yeah. why are we medicating ourselves yeah. for 365 days a year when we can really only get pregnant three to five days? Where if you just track your cycle properly, don't you have sex what? those days. I agree. Of course I'm being safe. I pull out. Of course. <laughs> um, so that I agree with you. I actually think like five, five days out of the month, Yeah. that's when you wear the condom. What? No. Oh my gosh. Pull out game strong. Brian, no. What? Huh? You just don't do it those five days. <laughs> you've got, that you've is got 25 you know other days in the month. Oh, oral sex is what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> my cousin did that. She didn't use book at all. She used way. this thing where it tells you Sorry, when I'm you're so fertile. Yeah. And <laughs> she, it's, it's, a, it's like a whole thing. Like it's like this thing where well, it Did it have the temperature you. gauge? Or something uh, or, like that. Because if you check your temperature, there's a whole thing about body regulation. It's called natural cycle. She did that, and that's how she got pregnant. Yo, yeah, did, did that's you know, also how you get pregnant. There's also this thing, like the year, like if you're a Taurus, if it's the month Jesus of Christ. April, oh, no. you actually can't get pregnant <laughs> <laughs> in that month. It's yeah, a thing. If, if the moon isn't risen because and it's like full moon. Like the sun setting. You're being I tried protected. that before, and I didn't By get the Taurus energy. Whoa. <laughs> it's a well, it's thing. Yeah. Oh my God. And it applies to every month. So if you're fucking Aries, whatever month <laughs> that is you're good to go you don't need okay i don't what i'm joking all right. that's a bad joke um okay 